Hello again, everybody. This is Derek from ScreamEagleAirsoft.com. Yes, that's ScreamingEagleAirsoft.com. You should check that out for any airsoft supplies or needs like guns or BBs or anything else you need. Go check that out at ScreamEagleAirsoft.com. Also, today we're doing a review. We're going to do a review on the Tie Gear Drop Leg Holster. This Drop Leg Holster is pretty awesome. Um, I like it. Uh, let's take a look at it. Right now, it's attached to my leg. I've got my uh, Red and 9mm in it right now. Um, let's take a look All at right, it. Alright, here it is. The Tie Gear uh, Drop Leg Holster all splayed out. Now, the first thing I want to show you is the belt hoop loop. Hoop. Hoop a looby? Okay. Um, it's, and I'm doing that off camera, so here, I'm sorry about that. Okay, here we go. It's right here. Um, what you do is you take this strap, you loop it up through your belt and back, then you lay this on your belt, so your belt's right there. Then you fold that down, and you have this top secured. Then you tuck this under your belt, all the way around the loop, and you Velcro it securely right there. And what that does is it keeps that top Velcro from getting snagged on something and pulled open. So your belt would stay right in there, nice and secure, not coming off. And then this just hangs off of your belt, like right there. What that does is, on the holster itself, you have a clip that you just clip onto your belt. So it is hanging from your belt from that clip. And then if you ever need to take it off, you can just undo that clip and lay it down and you can leave this attached to your belt. All right, now let's take a look at the holster itself. Let's get my gun out of there, okay. Okay, these are the leg straps. These straps are long enough that you could fit a nice sized leg. My, my thighs are pretty large. Um, I don't know how many inches around they are, but both my hands will not go around my thighs. I, they're about that big. So, and that's as tight as I needed them. So you have a lot more extra room to go on both your leg straps. Also, your leg straps are velcro, uh, not velcro, uh, elastic. So if, it, if, if your muscles are flexing, you know, this will work with your flexible muscles. So you, it'll never like cut off any of their circulation. Okay, let's look at the front. You have a couple of strap pouches, uh, strap loops here if you wanted to hang something molly off that or if you just had something that needed a clip on you could clip it onto your outside of your holster for whatever reason like maybe an extra ammo pouches or something like that okay it does come with a magazine pouch right here on the front side edge of your holster and it's held with elastic and the top of it will be secured with velcro slip it flip it okay Remember the main strap that hangs off of your belt. You can adjust its height up and down on your holster, up and down, so you can have your holster hang. If you're a tall gentleman, you can have it hang lower. If you're short, you can pull it up closer to you. And then this strap lays on top to kind of pad it for your comfort. Okay, so far so good. Good to go. Also, these straps can be moved left and right under there, so if you don't like the buckles in a certain place on your leg, you can go left or right a little bit to move that buckle left and right. Okay, now let's talk about what really makes this holster cool. Okay. Right here, you got a flap. Velcro, you undo it. It opens up your holster quite a bit. There is a Velcro strap right here. Take that Velcro strap off. There's also, I'm just gonna tuck it there for now. There is a Velcro strap on the inside. This will come completely out. Should. It's a big one. There you go, that'll come completely out. And there's Velcro on the left and right side of the inside of your holster. Also, there's a Velcro strap on the top. Okay, so what kind of a gun will this hold? Well, I think it'll hold Hellboy's handgun. 
it'll hold a pretty much any type of handgun. It might even hold a Tipman uh, paintball pistol, okay? Okay. So, when you put your gun in there, whatever size gun you have, you put it in there, you know, this gun would, all, would fall almost all the way through, okay? But you don't allow it to fall all the way through. You just put it to a convenient spot right about there, whatever you think is completely encased in your holster. You tighten it up, and then you pull this Velcro strap over and secure it tight. Okay. Has that done it completely? No. You get this strap, this small strap, sorry. You get this strap, you put it under the pistol grip, and you pull it secure there also. What that does is it keeps your handgun from sliding down too far. Because you don't want it to slide too far. Or you can just tuck it out of the way, because you might want your handgun to hang even lower. That's up to you where you put this strap and how tight you make that strap. Okay. Same thing here. This strap. Okay. I did one strap too soon. Okay, right. You take the little strap, you tuck it under first. That pinches the end. Then you fold this over and seal it up. There you go. Now, under here. This is Velcro on the left and right. You basically make a loop with that and you tighten that loop up so that only the tip of your gun is covered. I would probably do that. First, actually. There you go. So you have like a closes off this the end. As you can see, there's a lot of little adjustments you can make to your holster to make it fit your handgun just perfect. It will fit like 99% of the handguns out there. Okay. Now your handgun's secured in the holster, you know, it doesn't want to move around, but it will still come out. So how do you keep it from coming out? These two straps. Now, these two straps are not permanently affixed like any of the other straps. They can all be taken off, and they're just Velcroed on where you want them. To make this easy to move, you need a popsicle stick. You put the popsicle stick between the top Velcro and the bottom Velcro. Once you slide it in there, this strap will move around with ease. Right now, this uh, elastic strap is holding it so tight against the velcro you can't move it left and right well you don't want it to be able to move up and down unless you're doing something deliberate so take your popsicle stick slide it in there tighten this strap up okay so um, there you go imagine it under that we're using a popsicle stick you slide it up under this strap also Imagine me making it as tight as possible, okay? So imagine me making it like right there, because that's pretty tight. And imagine me doing the same thing with this one, because this is being held in place by Velcro inside there also. You take the button, you snap it shut, and then you take the Velcro on the top, and you lay it on there, and Voila, your handgun's not coming out. It's not going anywhere. Okay, so you got this tied to your leg and you're running around, the handgun's not gonna come flying out. This is a totally adjustable drop leg holster. You can use it for any handgun. And if you need to, you can put your extra magazine in a front pouch. And if you have more than one extra magazine, you could get magazine pouches that hook to your holster itself, or your molly, however you have it, or your vest, tackle vest, 
however you want to do it. Thanks for coming out and checking out this video on the Tiger Drop Weight Holster. You can pick this up at ScreamingGoalAirsoft.com and you can go to ScreamingGoalAirsoft.com, pick up any of your airsoft needs like BBs, guns, batteries, or whatever. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And guys, whenever you're on the airsoft field, play safe.